What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let's jump right into it. Famed trainer Teddy Atlas believes that Canelo Alvarez, after his dominant performance, one sided 12 round victory over Caleb Smith, is in fact too much for Gennady Golovkin in a trilogy fight. This is what Teddy Atlas said on his verified page. I know his fans won't like this, but at this stage of their careers, Gennady Golovkin is no longer competitive with Canelo. Boom. No longer competitive. Not now. Dominating performance credit to Smith. He didn't travel across that pond to not give his all. Lots of heart. Might be a little difficult for Canelo to take off all that muscle, get back down to middleweight, which his team said they don't plan on doing unless it's maybe an Errol Spence who... You know, that would be too much of an ask to expect him to move up to 168 first fight. You know, even though there's great fights like Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andrade, there are appealing fights there that would have huge, that he would have a huge edge in. Canelo Smith, Canelo. Dang. Canelo definitely dominated this fight. Brilliant performance. It was one-sided. A lot of people thought that Callum Smith, not me, really, you know, I picked Canelo all the way. A lot of people thought Callum Smith had a shot, but, you know, I just knew Canelo does well with this style, you know, British fighters. I didn't think Callum Smith had the proper inside game, but you guys heard it from Teddy Atlas by himself. You know, and the man just told you Triple G, you don't even think it'll be competitive. You know, shout out to Canelo and his team definite consummate professionals he looked good out there there's a lot of great fights for him Berlanga called him out you know that's a guy who's kind of on the up and coming so I don't expect that to necessarily get made right away but there are already made fights like David Benavidez Caleb Plant Charlo is a great fight Andre you know any of these to me would definitely suffice and I'm open to any of those particular type of fights as far as what's next for Canelo, we have to wait and see. He needed to get one out. And, you know, he really wasn't going to come back and face. I, you know, I don't think they had enough time to really, like, it sounded good when they were talking about Caleb Plant. But I, I think the way PBC does business, it would have been cutting it real, real, real close in terms of being able to promote it and stuff like that. So, Caleb Plant, he has his own fight with Caleb Truex. He didn't get the Canelo sweepstakes like he thought. So he got his own fight January 30th. I'm going to check that out. 168 is, is definitely popping. As far as the Gennady Golovkin thing, listen, often imitated, never duplicated. There's a lot of boxing narratives that come from this channel, that come from me, come from my mouth. I say things and you, you hear a lot of people, and I'm not saying Teddy Atlas did this particularly, but you can tell there's a lot of people that watch the channel in general because my narratives are floating all around boxing. As far as Triple G, Canelo 3, I told you I really wasn't interested in that fight. The zone doesn't know too much about boxing. They seem eager to keep asking Canelo about that fight and to make that fight. I really don't even care to see that. We've already watched 24 rounds of Canelo and Triple G. And Triple G, I thought, won the first fight. Canelo made proper adjustments i thought he won the second fight but at this point triple g by the time that they fight the lovekin will be almost 40 you know and you look at the two performances canelo took on a stringent test and made it look easy against a guy with the seven inch reach advantage and golovkin he dominated his dude but his dude was camille says a guy with five knockouts so you can see who's fighting the tougher competition. Again, Golovkin, his birthday is in April. So if they fight in May, he'll be 39, which is one year younger than 40. At this point, I think Canelo has his number. Teddy Atlas is saying the same thing. And it's just funny that, like I said, a lot of these narratives on my channel where I, I speak to them and you see them floating around throughout all of boxing. The level of competition, it, it, Triple G just fought a guy with 21 fights and five knockouts, and he carried him for 
however many rounds it was seven what was it it was it went several rounds and this guy had no power at all canelo just went in there with the a guy who was <laughs> seven inches taller than him and it looked crazy at the weigh-in you know and i told you guys height wasn't everything and he just walked forward bullied him did whatever he wanted bloodied the man up i mean it's it goes without saying From what I seen, he started getting tired. Canelo went 12 rounds, well conditioned, looks in crazy shape at this weight, made weight, you know what I'm saying? True professional. It's just a masterclass performance. So Teddy Atlas, like I've been telling you, I think he's right because I've been telling you longer than Teddy Atlas posted just that he just posted. The man Canelo, it's his time now. You know, if someone's gonna beat him. I don't see it being Triple G. What is he going to do at age 39? Canelo has the better defense. Canelo's more skilled. Canelo has now experience at higher weight classes. Like 175, he got a knockout, a recorded knockout over Kovalev, FAF. Um, he just beat up on Rocky Fielding at 168, stopped him. And now he just beat up on... He's like picking on this Smith family for whatever reason, but he just beat up two Smiths. Liam Smith and now Caleb Smith, who was a champion and won the World Boxing Super Series. And he was way bigger than Golovkin. He was supposed to be real strong. I mean, what is Golovkin going to do? Golovkin, to me, would need a one shot Deontay Wilder type of power to, to beat Caleb Smith. Granted, Chin, he showed in this Callum Smith fight. You know, it's not like Callum Smith really threw that many punches. I think Triple G three would still be more competitive than maybe a Callum Smith like meaning he can win rounds but Triple G was looking bad versus Dervinchenko and I thought he lost that fight and that body shots were tearing him up so Canelo we know we've seen it in this fight great jab very mature performance very educated performance the body shots the combination punches the uppercuts you know, I think as time went on, maybe this is what Canelo wanted. It got worse and worse for hey, no guys, hey, Max, for Gennady Golovkin. Because this is all the Canelo show. That's all I see. And I've been saying that for a while. And I said it before the Callum Smith performance. And now I'm still saying the same thing. You notice that Mr. Consistency when it comes to this boxing talk. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree with Ego and Teddy Atlas that it's over for the Triple G Canelo fight? Triple G, you know, I don't even see why DAZN would even want that fight. The amount of money you would have to pay for both fighters, and I promise you it's going to be more like Mike Alvarado, Brandon Rios 3, where that third fight looks nothing like the first two fights. You know, nothing like the first two fights. Golovkin was looking winded versus Camille Sesmeta under the tutelage of Jonathan Banks. You know, he looks like less aggressive. You know, he doesn't look as aggressive as when he was with Abel Sanchez. And he last fought Canelo in 2018. And it's about to be 2021. That's literally, depending on when they fight, that's like two and a half, three years. Right? And the first fight was in 2017. Four years. And again, if you listen to this earlier commentary in the video, I said I thought Triple G won the first fight and definitely lost the second. So... That means Triple G hasn't looked good versus Canelo since 2017, right? It's like four years ago. And then look at who he fights outside of Canelo. Because again, I thought Canelo easily beat him. And his competition has been Vonis Matarosan, <laughs> Steve Rolls, and Camille Sesmeta. And I have one more that I skipped, which was a guy he ducked and avoided, Sergei Daryevchenko. And we know what happened in that fight. Dervinchenko really whooped him and Triple G shouldn't even be a champion. So Triple G is <laughs> only looking good and stopping Camille Sesmeta, Steve Rolls, and Vonis Matarosin because he didn't stop Sergei Dervinchenko, who was a shorter, 
middleweight and he really this is a guy with 13 and one record lost to Danny Jacobs a guy who Triple G allegedly beat and Devin Chaco gave him all the problems in the world so what is he going to do with Canelo who again beat him in 2018 and still looks sharp is younger him and his trainer got a good thing going he looks motivated he's a free agent so he's out of his contract he's making money he just comes off of Callum Smith sensational perform I mean what what who wants to see this like a triple G3 outside of the zone what what is triple G I need to know from somebody what do you think triple G is supposed to be doing out there when Canelo out here looking saucy you know jabbing and all types of look defense what is triple g gonna do you know and i don't think i don't think he's a one punch deontay wilder type of person you've seen a tough camille says meta with no knockout power and he was in there hanging out he was in there hanging with canelo i mean hanging with triple g for several rounds canelo has a chin better defense sharper i mean just come on is <laughs> I ain't even got to say no more. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We work. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's, B. Walter, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work, I'm rich, and Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.